Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, I want to talk about a pinpoint for a peak performance setup. And what I want to directly talk about today is, is the address position of where the shaft should be pointing, or shall we say maybe the top of the butt of your club should be pointing when you're in a proper setup position. This is important to understand because, again, we have a, kiss, a strong situation of here of the whole world's over there and we're on that side of the street and as to where the, the, left, arm, the left shaft should be, uh, the shaft should be pointed. If we make a good uh, dress position, or if you stand here, stand straight, you notice that both of your hands are turned somewhat inward. All right, so I can't ever really get into the prayer position unless both hands turn outward a little bit to where they become pounds perpendicular. And they always cross at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, and their pounds perpendicular at 12 and 6. And with a square club face, that's what guarantees us a dead square impact, okay? But conversely, the problem is, in, in, is that the predominant uh, teachings in golf about the setup position for the hands, and therefore the shaft, is that they tell you to dress the ball, dress the club with the shaft or the butt of the club, the heel of the club, the butt of the club pointed at your belt buckle, okay? All right, so if you do that, basically you have, if you notice right off the bat, if I do that and I come in, what am I doing? I'm doing that, this thing, and I'm putting cupping in both wrists, all right? And I'm gonna have probably a little bit more cupping or a lot more on the forward wrist, which we want the forward wrist to be flat. Now look how it gets flat. The only way it gets flat is I gotta have a shaft angle pointing somewhere out here near my left hip. Now Dr. Armstrong, as you all know, he's my, he's my uh, orthopedics mentor that teaches me all the physiology stuff I got. And as I keep saying, peak performance is no opinion. There's no surge opinion in everything I do here. It's all based on fact. Physics, physiology married together. 100% fact. We're the only swing that does it. Because your hands rotate in like this, Dr. Armstrong, if he's gonna teach somebody to grip, he has them stand like this. He'll come over, he'll drop the club right into the hands like that. Now look at the angle. Look at the angle of the shaft. The head is on this side of the hands. So when from there you come up and you bring the club straight out in front of you, you take this hand over and put it on, and now you're gonna have a little bit more cup in this, in the bottom hand, the right hand for me, left hand for the lefty, you'll have a little bit of cup on that. And, but that forward arm, that forward wrist will be much more straight, what it's supposed to be. And you're gonna have what? Technically, as far as the target goes, a forward shaft lean, as compared to no shaft lean, okay? It's gonna be neutral, all right? Now, what does this mean for us? You hear all the time today at Impact, they want you to have your chest over the ball, they call it covering the ball, they want the shaft covering the ball, they want a lot of leading with the hands coming through, all right? Now, do we want the hands ahead? Do we want them neutral or do we want them behind, all right? Most everybody today is being taught and they're trying to keep it ahead. I call that lag drag hold block. What they're doing is they're lagging, they're dragging, they're holding the club face square to open, coming through, and Mr. Hogan was the first guy to figure out that if the toe doesn't pass the heel, the ball's never going left. And, and like in the old days, the big problem, even with a vertical swing, was, was over hooking the ball, pulling and hooking. All right, now, and so they figured out if the toe goes, releases past the ball, you're in trouble. That's because they, they, they still were swinging, even if they were swinging vertical, they didn't really totally understand impact, and they were keeping their head behind the ball too long, and which stats would let the club flip too much, because once your arms can't extend together equally, and in many cases, it's already breaking down before they get the impact. If they stay down long enough, it's just I'm trying to straighten up, that one's breaking, so it's pulling it inside and flipping the toe. We want an impact. The, per, the peak performance impact will be a neutral impact. Both arms will be straightened out and both arms will be, both wrists will be just about dead square and it'll be just about neutral in line. The shaft might be dead straight, maybe a fraction of, fraction, fraction of, of shaft still slightly ahead of the ball of impact. It's gonna be very minimal. It's almost gonna be dead straight. It certainly can't be shaft back because the ball will be going left. And if you got two shaft forward, even if I come in, I get two shaft forward, my face is going to be out to the right, and I'm going to be likely hitting pushes, blocks, or thin cuts to the right and thins, okay? So, we start here, we go in the mitt and up the tree, we come back down, and, and everything rotates back to both arms square. So as I'm going in the backswing here, you're going to see this wrist is flat here all the way up, but this one has cup. It's going to get a little more cup on the way down when I set the angle and the club comes down, but by the time from here, and as they both rotate the square, right? Dead square, just about dead neutral, and from there into the forward catches mitt, they're still relatively straight, and then up the tree. All right, so that's what we want. At address, we need to have that shaft 
pointed at the left hip because that's the way our arms have to be to start a proper takeaway toe up into the mitt so that we'll come down and go toe up into the forward mitt okay and and have that neutral impact and address at impact where both arms are, are relatively dead straight just like just like you're standing there hitting baseball bats with a baseball bat you're hitting the ball okay maximum extension maximum natural extension all right well that's why you have to start with the butt of the club pointing at the forward hip all right so that the arms are in the proper position for the proper takeaway well that's it for the search for today and i'll be speaking with you all again soon